All right, welcome back to KFYR Plus. And coming up later on this month, on Saturday the 18th at Fort Stevenson State Park, a world record attempt will happen. And here to tell us a little bit more about it is park manager Chad Troutman. Welcome, Chad. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about this world record attempt, a Guinness world record attempt, we might add. You're aiming to set a record with 10, uh, excuse me, that's 1,000 s'more makers. Uh, tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, um, so Fort Stevenson's excited to be celebrating our 50th anniversary, and we we wanted to do something special, something that, that was, you know, um, something big. And, and with mm -hmm. that being the case, we started researching s'more world record attempts, and we found that they're, the current record for most people simultaneously making s'mores was 891. So we 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 want to hit that record and, and break it. Of course, we we're, we'd hope to see a thousand people, but but we're going to shoot for even more than that to get at least 1,200 people to the park making s'mores. Well, it's a delicious idea, Chad. And uh, tell us where did the idea come from? Well, brainstorming for the 50th anniversary, trying to think of some kind of events. We always do a number of events at Fort Stevenson, but um, something to me that was something memorable, something that grandparents and grandkids do together, something that we see, you know, almost every weekend when the summer hits. And, it, you know, camping and s'mores just really go hand in hand together and, and, and camping in state parks as well. So it, it, it was cer certainly a natural fit once we, we found the record for the most people simultaneously making s'mores. It, it was something we knew that that's something that we could go after that one and achieve it. And, and, and so just, just from some brainstorming and some fun, fun idea thinking about it, and, and here we are today uh, trying to make the attempt. Sure. Uh, the event is free to attend. Am I right on that? That is correct. All vehicle fees will be waived, and there's no cost to enter the, the event area um, to, 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 to help us break the record. Yep, all supplies will be provided, and as well as the fire pits and everything else, so we just need people to show up for the day. Chad, I got a question for you. The, uh, did you have to pay for this attempt with the World Guinness Record people? That is correct. It, uh, there is quite an expense to it um, there, the, to to apply and to get approval for the, the application for the world record attempt. And we're so appreciative of all of our generous supporters. Uh, you know, it's quite expensive. And, and we were able to secure all the funding through our local businesses and supporters in the Garrison area and just uh, just outside of that. So um, we are just so gracious, uh, graciously appreciative of, of the support and and uh, this says so much about how much people here just literally love their state parks. Yeah, it's another reason to support this great event. Let's talk about Fort Stevenson. As you mentioned, they're celebrating its 50th anniversary this summer. Let's tell the viewers a little bit about this jewel that sits on the north shore of Lake Sakakawea. Well, it, Fort Stevenson is, is, and thank you for saying that, I would say it myself, is a jewel, it, it, as all of our state parks are in North Dakota for for our, our public. But uh Fort Stevenson's just three miles south of Garrison. We're located on the bluffs of the Missouri River, uh, just on the north shore of Lake Sakakawea. Uh, the park is 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 well known for its uh, lake access, uh, for camping, and for events. Um, and and throughout the year, we do, like I say, host a number of events. Uh, we we host many events from evening hikes to uh, kite festivals, to maple sugaring, uh, to to fishing derbies, as well as lighted boat parades and all kinds of things that that happen throughout the year at Fort Stevenson, which really makes us popular. So um, Fort Stevenson, as you say, is a jewel. And I would say all of our state parks are just really a, 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 a just a great place to visit and get outside. Yeah, as you mentioned, there's uh, other uh, big events that you've got planned for the summer. What are some of the other events that you've got planned for Fort Stevenson this summer? You know, to, to be unique uh, this year, we have added on a, a stick horse rodeo. That'll be taking place June 22nd. Uh, that's kind of a, a fun, exciting event. We always try to think of family-related events, and so the stick horse rodeo will be new this year. In addition, we're, we're looking at expanding our lighted boat parade and our ski show, which happens later in August. Um, so that event will have some expanded offerings and entertainment available, uh, so we're excited for that. And then additionally, we're looking at um, in September doing an October style fest event here at Fort Stevenson, which will be new for us. Uh, we haven't done something like that before, but uh, we'll have some polka music and other things happening in the park. So it'll be kind of fun to come out and enjoy that as well. So 
But I also would like to add that, you know, we, we're not the only park hosting a 50th anniversary this year. We have a sister park, Lewis and Clark State Park up by Williston, which has a number of amazing events that they have added this year for the public to enjoy as well. So I would definitely check them out as well when we're looking at events. Sure, absolutely. Well, uh, Chad, thank you for visiting with us. Uh, happy 50th birthday to Fort Stevenson State Park, and best of luck in this world record attempt. I know if I was in the area, I would definitely want to be there because there's nothing better in the summertime than a good old s'more. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Chad. All right, we're going to take a quick break here at the KFYR Plus News Desk. When we come back, we'll get to our local news coming up next right here on KFYR Plus.